In the last video, I made the point that when we're studying ethics, one of the things we have to do is work out what ethics is not. So in this little video, we're going to have a look at differentiating ethics from other standards in society. In particular, we're going to have a look at differentiating ethics from uh, things like etiquette. Okay, so etiquette or custom. We're going to differentiate ethics from the law and we're going to differentiate ethics uh, from religion. Now, while these are related to ethics, we also need to recognize that it's not exactly the same thing. These things are related because in essence, both custom or etiquette and ethics or law and ethics or religion and ethics often make a judgment about what's right and wrong. So many times they're doing the same thing. So there's often a great deal of overlap or similarity between them, but there's also important differences. Because we're gonna concentrate on ethics and morals rather than those other topics, we need to be able to differentiate that as a first step. The first one we're gonna look at is the difference between etiquette or custom and ethics. So often we have standards about how we're expected to behave or what kinds of decisions that we're gonna make, particularly in business settings. Now think about the expectations about how you dress, how you communicate. And if you're not aware of those, you'll be judged as doing the wrong thing, not dressing appropriately or not communicating appropriately. However, I hope you can see that just because you meet these standards doesn't mean that you're actually being ethical. Just because you dress a certain way doesn't make you moral. Or just, be, just because you have a form of communication that's appropriate doesn't mean the message is, is actually moral. And vice versa, right? Just because you dress a certain way doesn't necessarily make you uh, unethical. So there's a difference here between ethics and etiquette. While most people can see the difference between etiquette and ethics. Sometimes people have a bit of a struggle in understanding that there's a difference between the law and what's ethical. These two are highly related, um, often because the law is based upon ethical ideas. Uh, so for instance, the law of contract comes from a basic ethical idea that you should keep your word. However, in the fine detail of the law, and often if the, if the wrong party or person can get into a position of power to make law, the laws that are made uh, can, can well be judged, depending upon your ethical framework, as being unethical. So again, there's this, there's this difference between what's ethical and what's legal. I think the core ideas to take away is that they often overlap, right? And that's because Yes, as this saying here says, the law floats on a sea of ethics. But one of the challenges about floating on the sea of ethics is that often law lags um, societal views on ethics. And so that can cause um, a, a particular tension around the difference between ethics uh, and the law. You also might have some specific occasions, uh, just say you uh, have, a, have a dictator in power uh, particular laws uh, may be considered ethical or unethical. And it's not just a dictator, even under democracies you can get these, but it's far more likely to have that kind of clash under different uh, political systems. So if we represent that diagrammatically, what we can see is a, is a huge area of overlap between what's legal and ethical. But there might be some things that are ethical but are legal, and some legal things that are unethical. And we can explore a few of these both in the lecture and also in your workshop. That means you can't always turn to the law to decide what's ethical or unethical. And so it's the whole basis for why we've got this part of the course to help you differentiate those few situations you might come across where there's a clash. When you're thinking about what's ethical and what isn't ethical, um, you, you might also run across codes of conduct. So if you're a marketer or an accountant or if you're in a company and they have a code of conduct, you could treat the idea behind that code of conduct much like law, right? It's kind of telling you what you should do. Uh, but just like the law, there may or may not be an overlap with ethics when you actually are using that to make a decision. So in many of the same ways, we still end up with the same problem, even with codes of conduct rather than the law. Finally, 
we have a difference between religious standards and ethics that I think it's very important to recognise. So, of course, religions incorporate moral standards, so they're about these moral standards, and most people in the world actually subscribe or are affiliated with a, with a religion. So they're, they're, they are very connected because a lot of what religions do is provide a justification for your moral choices. So they give us guidance uh, around the moral choices that we make. Uh, however, they also do lots of other stuff that's not related to, to that may or may not be related to morals. Um, so you might have requirements um, to give a certain amount of money in a certain in a certain way. You might have requirements to pray or meditate, to have a certain a sense of consciousness, uh, etc. So there's lots of things that you're aiming for in religion that aren't necessarily related to ethics. Because we live in a pluralistic society um, and we don't have uh, anything like a, a, a state religion, we're not going to examine this particular approach. Um, but we need to recognise that it is an important influence for a lot of people, um, but it's different to pure ethics and morality. Okay, so with that out the way, we've gone through a few of the core concepts behind ethics and what it is. And we've also differentiated the difference between ethics and other standards, particularly um, custom, the law, and religion. Next, we're gonna have a look at the vexing question of ethical relativism.